So I want to see how good this Energizer is in Chimps. So if you don't know what it does, it basically increases the the XP of your hero by 50% if like your hero isn't level 20 yet. Also, reduces the ability cooldown by 20% as you see here. Water ability cooldowns also halved. So, it sounds pretty good, right? The only issue in Chimps is that's 43,000, which is a good quarter of your income. And also, it does almost no damage. It's like a reactor that's three times stronger, but you all you all know the reactor falls off late game a lot. So this is going to be pretty much worthless in terms of uh, doing damage. So first, I want to test the sandbox, see if I can get a setup that can beat uh, the hard rounds before I jump into uh, this in a real game, because I'm pretty sure we are going to struggle a lot. The thing is, I also want to use abilities on top of it, like not just buy this guy and then buy a bunch of avatars, beat it that way. Because then there's going to be no use of buying this guy. Because, like, you're not utilizing his, uh, ability cooldowns. Okay, let me just see, realistically, if this setup would be 98. You got Avatars, we got Blue Storm, we got Sabo. The thing is, we won't do any damage until right now, so Blue Storm now. And even Sabo, too, while we're at it. And that Blue Storm is gonna last a long-ass time. Gonna be really helpful for our Avatars. Blue Storm again. Can even Sabo again, while we're waiting. That's a little late, no. Okay, that's not gonna work. What if I spend the money on a Shattery Shells? That'll probably do it, right? That takes up a ton of uh, HP off these uh, BFEs. Nah, too many balloons still. Well, it's close, it's close, hold on. This is gonna be a photo finish. There's like a few BFEs here. Um, guys, Sabo? Mm, my god, that is so close. I mean, we do have spare cash, hold on. We have spare cash for, like, maybe an Arcane Spike, so I think this would work. We have more money than this on 98. Let me test 99 as well, and play. Glue Storm immediately, Sabo immediately. Sounds pretty easy, right? Yeah, 99 is actually really easy. DT rounds, easy. And for round 100, interesting. Let me just see if I cannot afford a, uh, first strike. Let me see if a... Energizer buffed, Spike Storm would work. So we're talking to 140. And how much damage is that gonna do? Hmm. Might be a little too slow, I think. Come on, Spike Storm, do more damage. I don't think it's enough. Spike Storm? Oh, we, we, we need like another uh, reactor back here. So I'd have 177k. Hold on, let me do this. Okay, so we barely have enough money if this is my defense for round 100. I have enough for a first strike. And if I play this round, use the first strike. Let me just see if I'll have the cooldown before it gets decamized. Because otherwise I'd need like a reactor, 300. In fact, let me just buy a 300 here. Might need it, because it's getting a little bit away from the range here. Two. Oh! This actually works. I'm gonna try this setup with this Energizer, guys, with three abilities. Sabo, Blue Storm, First Strike. Yeah, and let's give it a, a run. So, sub here. So, as for the order of what I'm going to build things. So, the super is going to cost 3700 because I want the super here. Our avatar. Gotta remove this for 1k. A lot of money. So, how are we going to survive until 3700? Because right now, there is no way in hell a sub, an open, can survive for that much money. So, yes, I'm thinking cow drops. Because here's the thing. Apparently... So, open level 2, he gives plus 2 pierce on every magic monkey. And what do you know? It actually works on the cow drops, I think. So, now your cow drops has like plus 2 pierce. Which is pretty damn good, is it not? So, if I can place my ninja here, which is only 1 pixel, we will get a cow drops, alright? So, this ninja, I'm gonna turn to a sabo later. Because that sabo and an energizer is gonna be a pretty nasty combo. So there we go, cow drops. Yeah, unfortunately we don't get the top path, aka faster cow drops, but that's fine. But the thing is, once we get that super up, it's like game over, man. There is no chance we die with the super. It's just that good. Like, this super is three times as powerful under Oban versus without Oban. So we're halfway to our super now. These rounds aren't too bad, we have no brambles over for this round, come on cow drops. You got enough pawn power. Yeah, clutch. Got two counters back here, which are... end up being really helpful. Actually, less than 100 short, alright. Super now. 
as far up here as we can. Actually, here looks okay. The thing is, open to level 11 will give range, so he will be able to attack here. We can also drop a village, which I probably will next, yeah. You also want a discount village, because money's going to be really important. Going to save a fat 1k plus. And honestly, the early game is pretty trivial. The only hard part comes when you're saving for the Energizer, because you're going to initially be spending 43,000 on nothing. Do you think Open is OP? Um, He's OP in chimps, because you can afford him on level, four, on level 6, the first round. And that makes like the early game so easy. You can literally afford a super right off the bat, pretty much. Like, you can see here. So Open's definitely going to be tuned down. And 40. Yep, no issues with knockback. Easy. And now for our reactor into Energizer. But first, obviously, gotta get this uh, 301 first. Fun fact, Energizer has over 1,000 pierce. Well, the not fun fact is that the Energizer is not going to use any of that 1,000 pierce in chimps mode. Because like free play, the most amount of balloons you're going to come across is probably like 100. So yeah, for the most part, Energizer before round 100 is pretty much as useless as a super mines. It's Avatar time, and uh, I just need to buy one more upgrade on my Alchemist, and then we can get ready. Get ready to save up for 43,000 on this guy. So the hardest part is going to be after we get the Energizer. Maybe I should get maybe an ability first. What do you think? You think maybe I should get like the Gluestone first before anything else? I don't know. That would be like a much safer bet, because right now, initially, if we have no abilities, we're going to be spending 43k on nothing. Let's play safe here, because again, we can still go for Black Order. I have not completed a Blackboard Chimps run on this map yet, so I'm gonna go for a 052 glue first. And Glue Storm. Got him. Again, one of the worst tier 5s in Chimps mode, in my opinion. Like, it's great in free play, but with your limited budget and Chimps, it's just not good before Ryan 100. Let's use the Glue Storm on this, uh, for the reactor. Look at that. Double damage on the reactor. So useful. So without the Energizer, look how long the glue lasts for. Like, watch the cool down here. And up here. Actually, wait a minute. Do we even need the Energizer? Wait a minute. It seemed like it would last the entire cooldown. So the 20% on the glue storm seems useless, eh? Yeah, I know it could like, glue the new balloons, but... Still, it seems not as good as it could be, you know? Or rather, it's not really that useful in the grand scheme of things. So now we get to the hard part. Let me just see. If we do not use Glue Storm, can we still beat this round? 82. Let me just show you how good the Avatar is with Olbin, Alchemist. There's Fortifieds. And they are not a big issue, are they? No. Look at that. No Glue Storm. And we're still fine. This combo is definitely getting axed sometime soon. And Energizer, bye. So the damage is going to be useless. It's only 3 per tick. You'll see on the BFB, or the, or the Zoom G here, it goes up in increments of 3. Yep, you see there? Increments of 3. Use the Glue Storm. Increments of 4. Goat combo. Let's start building Sabos, because we want to use abilities with the Energizer. To make it synergize better, you know? You can't just buy and then just ignore all abilities. That would make it completely useless. Yeah, 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 I know Blomp Blitz is uh, probably worse. Elite Defender. I'm just saying, one of the worst. So right here, Arcane. And then after the Arcane, we'll go for Sabo number 2. Like, this guy can legitimately solo to like 90. These three towers. Is that not crazy? How about this round though? It's kind of tough, isn't it? No, not really. A lot of BFBs here. Yeah, Shadow would be great for this round. Especially 98, so we'll make sure to get that. Should I Sabo this? Nah, we're fine. If that's as far as it gets, then we are fine. We are looking really good right now, guys. Really good. So for DTs, I'm going to just see again. No need for Sabo. And no need for any abilities. My god. This is like more of an Avatar showcase than anything else. Either way, let's upgrade our wizard now. Still pretty low leveled, so it's not going to be doing very much. But 401 is going to be really good for DTs and all the other rounds. Okay, and I think this round... We might want to use Glue Storm, because I'm not going to take chances. We still got the Black Border with 10 rounds to go through. So let me just Glue Storm that up real quick. That'll make this round so easy. Let me just get the Arcane now. 
Let's get it. All right, 93. So no more can we actually see uh, the Avatar solo because we got this guy now. But I value the Black Border more than anything else, so deal with it. So now what? What's next? Let's go for the Sabo next, and then after we'll get a Shattering. Because these rounds is only BFBs, Zoom Ds, no Fortifieds. So yeah, let's go Sabo. One, two, three. Three K short. This round absolutely you gotta you gotta use something a glue storm, which we'll use now. We honestly should be using glue storm off the bat because the glue storm basically has perma uptime, like almost. The only issue is that you want to reapply these slow to new balloons or damage, the damage buff. So Sabo here now, awesome. I'm gonna apply the glue storm again, and yeah, we'll beat this round right. I do have emergency Sabo if I want to use it. How we doing? That is getting really far. Should I glue storm Sabo? No, no need for Sabo. But that got a little bit far, a little scary far. Overall, I'm not too worried though. We're fine, guys. Now let's get Shattering. In preparation for 98. One, two, three, and four later. DDTs, easy Sabo. Glue storm. And based on the way Sandbox I tested, it should be a piece of cake, these rounds, DDTs. You just need one Sabo and that's all. That's all you need. Alright. And 96. This round's also pretty tough, just because of the sheer amount of balloons. So we can afford the Shattering right now, awesome. We'll be really good for 98. And now, first strike, yes, first strike. And these ZMG should be okay, right? There's like a lot here, hold on. Sabo? Yeah, let me just make sure here. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. And, yeah, 12k for this guy. We will have excess cash, so I guess I'll spend it on, like, maybe to outbuff this guy. Spike Storm. We got lots of options. Here we go. 98. This is the only round that has a chance of uh, killing me. So I'm gonna just use the Glue Storm immediately. Use the Sabo. The thing I, is I want to have a Sabo for 99. So I can't be using this at the very end of the round. Keep that in mind. And I'll wall trees too, just to be safe. As if that did anything. Probably not very much. I doubt it. Oh. We need glue storm now. Sabo? Sabo? Was that a good idea? Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Sabo cooldown is really close to coming back. Those balloons are getting really far. Jeez. I think we're fine though. Alright. Little bit of monkey ass there. Ability is just barely back in time, so thank god. I had to mess up there. And Black Border Stone Play, guys, with Energizer. This is a first. We also cannot afford a uh, first strike. Hold on. We gotta buy mid round. And we're just gonna barely afford this thing. Jeez. Okay. Alright, 99 cleared. And 100 should be pretty easy. If all things turn out the way it should be. So, first strike. And one more thing. Oh, yeah. 300 sub, just in case it pops. Here. Will it crash, guys? Pause. Right now it's 8.0, so... There's a chance the game may crash because I'm on Steam and I first strike the badge. Should I not use first strike? I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna use the ability, and if we crash, Ninja Kiwi has to uh, give me the black badge. They have to manually go into my account and add it, okay? Okay. You don't have to do that, NK. Thank you. There it is, guys. G, friggin' G.